Hello boys and girls, what is up? This is 9th Funk and today we are going to take a look at AMD's Radeon Relive tool which is an awesome tool and it's meant for those who are recording or streaming. Previously I've been using uh, Bandicam a lot and also OBS a lot and um, Radeon Relive is actually like a breath of um, fresh air because it's so simple and it's AMD's version of Shadowplay. As far as I can remember there was another recording tool from AMD but still back then Shadowplay was the king. However right now with uh, Relive things might have changed a little bit and uh, Relive might get up and be on the same uh, same spot with Shadowplay and maybe maybe in time it can uh, surpass it I think I don't know but we shall see however guys as I said I've been using uh, Bandicam and OBS a lot in the past uh, few months since I started doing gameplay videos and while um, everything was fine I find that Radeon Relife is a better tool for me and I'm going to say why so first of all with uh, with Relive, I didn't experience any FPS drops, any performance issues, and uh, also I had a thing with uh, Bandicam and also OBS. After I was recording the video, I had to use Handbrake because I am using uh, Premiere Pro, and uh, while I was dragging the um, the video in Premiere Pro, the audio was out of sync, but the issue was with Premiere Pro. So Radeon Relive solved that thing for me as well. And as I mentioned, there are no FPS drops and no performance issues whatsoever, which is awesome. Plus, the settings are great. And um, on 1080p, because I'm doing 1080p videos and 60 FPS, I'm always getting uh, around 34-35k uh, bitrate. And that's awesome. That's, uh, that's absolutely awesome. So, let's get straight into the settings, because I want to keep this video short. The settings are divided in uh, four tabs and the tabs are global, recording, streaming and overlay. I will be covering global recording and um, overlay mainly because I don't really stream but I will go through the streaming tab as well and we shall see what are the options there. So first of all there is the global tab. You have basically some generic settings, some general settings and um, you can see that you have the ability to turn on or off Relive, then you can uh, disable or enable the record desktop feature, then you select your save folder, and then the microphone, you can select the microphone, and then you have all the hotkeys for um, the specific actions, and you can change them as you wish. So I won't really stay here much longer, because everything is pretty straightforward. So let me go next. Right now we are on the recording tab and this is the main area. So here we have multiple options as well. The first one is the recording profile, which can be low, medium, high or custom. Basically the system will select the custom one only if you do some custom changes here. Mine is custom because I already did some custom changes here. Let me go further and we have the recording resolution uh, option. I selected 1080 because I am playing um, on 1080, but you can go as high as 4K and that's really awesome. That's really, really awesome, guys. I mean, you can also go lower. So next we have the recording bitrate based on your, um, based on your PC. I say that you should max this out. And uh, as you can see, I maxed it out. My uh, my specs. I mean, I I will mention the processor and the and the GPU. I have an i5 Skylake 6402P whatever, and I have an RX 480 with uh, eight gigs from Sapphire. So that's that, and also eight gigs of um, RAM. But you, I mean, you can try maxing maxing the settings out on recording bitrate, and if something, I mean, if you experience some uh, performance issues or stuff like that, you can uh, lower it down a bit. But I mean, I don't think you should uh, have any problems with this. Next, we have the recording FPS. And as you can see, I set it up to 60. The other option is 30, but uh, I'm doing 60. So that's awesome for me. Next, we have the encoding type and uh, I have selected AVC, but you also have another option, which is um, HEVC, I think, yeah. Um, the thing is, I tested the other one, but I got some um, low bitrate. I got some low bitrate uh, values. 
with the other uh, encoding type. I mean, I, I'm going to give you an example. When I first um, downloaded and tried Relive, I was actually using the other encoding type, the HEVC, and I had the recording bitrate maxed out, but the output video had under 20k uh, bitrate, and, uh, and that was pretty sad, I think. Now, after I switched to AVC and uh, I kept the same settings, the recording bitrate maxed out and all that kind of stuff, the, um, the target bitrate was um, 35k, 35k. So that was a huge boost. And uh, between the two encoding types, I didn't notice any performance uh, issues. So that was great. And I recommend you use AVC because I mean, for me, that works, that works and that's great. So that's that. Next, we have the audio bitrate. And as you can see, I set it up to 192, but you can go um, as high as uh, 320 if you want to. I'm happy with uh, with my current bitrate. And uh, the last feature here is the instant replay thing. Um, it's turned off here, but um, you can turn it on and see what uh, what happens. I have it turned off because I'm not really interested in it and uh, it won't like affect or boost your recording performance. It's just a feature. So you can you can leave that out if you want to. Next, we have the streaming tab. And uh, as I said, I'm not using this because I am not streaming, but I am going to go through the, um, the features here, the settings here. So as you can see, you have the possibility of adding stream accounts or whatever you want to call them. Um, you have the Twitch uh, account, you have the YouTube account, and then you can also do a custom stream. So if you have a, a Twitch account, you can connect it and you can stream on Twitch. Then you have the YouTube account. If you want to live stream on YouTube, you just uh, turn that uh, turn the thing on and that's it. You can stream on YouTube. And then you have the custom stream. I'm not really sure what this does. I'm not really into it because I mean, even if I turn it, because even if I turn it on, I can't uh, really say much since I'm not streaming and I'm not experienced with this thing. Now the other one, the the next option is the streaming profile. Then you have the streaming resolution. Then uh, you have the streaming bitrate, which goes up to 10 uh, megs. Then the streaming FPS audio bitrate, which here goes up to uh, 192. And you can also archive your stream if you want to keep it and show it to your grandkids or something. I don't know. Um, so that's pretty much it with the streaming thing. You'll probably, if you are streaming, if you are a streamer, you'll probably get this thing much better than I do. So yeah, sorry for uh, any inconveniences here. I just try to like go, um, go through the settings and show you guys what are the settings. But I'm not uh, an experienced uh, guy with, with streaming settings. Now, next and last, we have the overlay tab. And basically, as the title says, you will be able to add an overlay to your recording or to your streaming, I guess. And the options here are show system info. So basically, in the game, you can uh, choose to, to show your system info, which is a nice feature. So if you maybe want to like... Um, showcase a game based on your configuration, based on what GPU you have, based on what um, uh, CPU you have, and you want to show people how many FPS you get, probably um, that would be the way to go. And it's a nice, it's a nice little feature from, uh, from AMD. Now, the other option is show camera. So you can show your camera, you can show your uh, beautiful face and uh, you can turn this on and you'll also have some other options, but I'm not going to go through this since uh, right now it's not a um, point of focus for this video. And the last option here is show custom overlay. And here you can basically select an image from your computer and just uh, put it here and have it in your settings. So this is it guys for today. I just wanted to show you the, the settings and uh, the settings I use for AMD Relive. I don't actually say that these are the best settings. Uh, these work for me though. These work really great for me because my videos on 1080 with 60 FPS, they always have around uh, 33, 35K bitrate. Plus, I don't get any performance issues here. I, uh, the FPS doesn't drop at all plus the other issue that i had with um, out of sync audio in premiere pro that's gone now thanks to real life so 
I don't have to use Handbrake and I don't have to lose uh, any more time with that. It's a great tool. It's a new tool and uh, and be sure that um, AMD will release updates on, on this one and be sure that AMD will solve any issues that there are like bugs and small things that might affect your performance. Thumbs up for AMD. If you are recording, if you are streaming, I really, really think that you should try this one. I think you should definitely try this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then hit the like button. If you want to stay tuned, uh, hit the subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you are new on this channel and you are uh, here because of this video, then um, you should know that I am doing some gameplay videos. I am doing mainly Paladins videos and uh, also some uh, Titanfall 2. But I also might do other games in the, in the near future. So if you want to stay tuned with that, then uh, subscribe. So until next time, guys, have a great day, evening, night, whatever. Stay and be awesome. Take care. Bye-bye.